how to make southwestern beef and rice skillet. Okay, so this recipe actually requires you to use one and a half cups of instant rice, but if you don't have instant rice or can't find it, I suggest cooking your regular rice uh, maybe seven, five to seven minutes less than whatever your package directions say because you want, you still want your rice to be able to absorb liquids later on. So I'm going to make a cup, cup of rice according to whatever my package directions are. Remember, at the end result, you need at least one and a half cups of cooked rice, so making a little bit extra is okay. You can do whatever you want with the leftovers. Water, more water, butter, and cook your rice. Remember, if it's not instant, cook it a little less than maybe five to ten minutes less than whatever your package directions say. Next, you want to either dice finely one real jalapeno pepper, or I'm just going to grab a handful of these, pat them dry, and dice them finely. Okay, so not literally a handful, probably like a teaspoon or two. Once you've got your diced jalapeno, set it aside for a sec until we're ready to use it. In a skillet, or in my case a wok, preferably with lid, add about a tablespoon of oil and heat up your pan. Don't forget to swirl your pan around to move the oil around. To your pan, add about just over one pound of 85% lean ground beef. Less than a pound, less than half a pound would be great, a little bit over a pound would be ideal. To this, to your beef, you're going to add one uh, 16 ounce bag of pepper and onion mix. Yes, you can use one real onion and one real pepper if you prefer. You're just going to have to cook it longer until your vegetables are tender. Add in your diced jalapeno. Cook until your meat is no longer pink and your vegetables are tender. Don't forget to break up your meat as you're cooking it. And mix it all up and everything. When your meat is no longer pink and your vegetables are nice and tender, strain your mixture and put it back into your pan. Once you've got your beef well strained put and put back into your pan, you're going to add your one and a half cups of either instant or mostly cooked rice. rice. One 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes with juices. One and a half cups of beef broth. About a teaspoon of ground cumin. Salt to taste. And pepper to taste. Mix well and bring to a boil. When your mixture is boiling, turn it down to a simmer and cover it with your pot and uh, simmer for about five minutes or until the liquids have been dissolved. Now when all of your liquids have been absorbed, you want to top it with whatever cheese you like, Mexican cheese blend, ch shredded cheddar cheese, whatever you'd like. A cup of cheese is fine, but let's face it, you can add more if you want. Put your lid back on your pot and let this sit until your cheese melts. I know it sounds strange, but the heat from the pan and the mixture and the lid and everything will melt your cheese. Just give it a five, ten minutes. And when your cheese is all melty, you're ready to enjoy. Grab yourself a bowl and a spoon. Get yourself a nice scoop. And enjoy.